We all love unique things, right? In this video, I'm going to talk about the weirdest but most inspiring sculptures you'll see around the world. But before we start, kindly subscribe to our channel. For updates on our future uploads, go ahead and click the bell icon. Patience and Perfection This installation called the Kelpies took creator Andy Scott 80 years to finish. They measure 100 feet tall. Scott was inspired by the legend of a water spirit in the shapes of horses. The sculptures are displayed at the entrance to the Forth and Clyde Canal in Scotland. Anthony Howe creates abstract and kinetic structures that are mostly unbelievable. Metals and polymers are all evident in his mobile art which can be seen all around the world. Some structures are as tall as 25 feet and they are all very satisfying to the eye. Don't disturb me. This giant yelling man seemingly coming up from beneath the grass is called Ripped Up or Popped Up. Created by Hungarian artist Irvin Laurent Herve, it was temporarily erected at Budapest Sancheri Square for Art Market Budapest. Are you afraid of ghosts? The black ghost found in Kalpeda is probably one of the most famous statues in Lithuania. According to the locals, when you visit the statue on a gloomy rainy day, it will leave you feeling a bit spooked for the entire day. However, if you befriend the statue, you will become fortunate and rich. Chewing gum art. Artists can use just about anything to create art. Take for example, Mauricio Savini who uses chewing gum to create some very graphic statues. He always gets asked by people if he chews every piece and he hates it. Actually, he hires assistants who melt the gum down to make them reusable for his masterpieces. Popping Hippos In Taipei Zoo, you'll be amazed with live animals, but more so by these cute hippo sculptures that seem to be protruding from the ground. Mother or Maman Maman is the French word for mother. This spider structure about 37 feet high called Mother can be seen at the Tate Modern in London. Artist Louis Bourgeois used steel and he created this in honor of his living mother. Built in 1999, this structure has been recreated several times already. The Travelers Bruno Catalano made the Traveler statue. It depicts human beings with a suitcase in their hands, but their mid-body parts seem to be missing. According to the artist, he's portraying them as traveling for the purpose of reinventing themselves. Quest for Freedom Everyone wants to be free and that's a given. Known as the breakthrough from your mold, this lovely figure can be found in Pennsylvania and Zenith Frudakis is the genius behind it. Magic Fountain The Magic Tap is an amazing sculpture which can be seen in Spain. Looking at it, you'll have the impression of an endless supply of water coming out from the faucet. To make it appear as if it's flowing in the air, the pipe that supports the entire structure is hidden behind the flow of water. Creative Minds at Work Outside the State Library in Melbourne, you'll be amazed by the sinking building. The creator meant to imply too much weight of the book as the reason for the sinking in the library. Gotcha. In Brussels, you'll find a weird and funny sculpture created by Tom Franson. Developed in 1985, it depicts a man bulging out from the top of a sinkhole and pulling the foot of a passing policeman. Face Art In reality, this sculpture is the image of the famous Romanian poet Mihai Eminescu, who was born in 1850. It is recommended that you view the artwork at the right times during the day. During these times, it will seem like it's painted on the sky. The Shoe Memorial On the Dudume Bank in Budapest, Hungary, you will see the sculpture of shoes. The idea of Kant Tege, a film director, it was sculpted by Gula Parr. It was constructed there in memory of the Jews who were killed in World War II by fascist Arrow Cross militiamen who told them to remove their shoes before killing them at the edge of the water. The World in a Woman's Hands Called Force of Nature, this series of sculptures was created by Lorenzo Quinn. Several versions of this installation can be found around the world and they all seem to picture women holding the earth in different ways. Its adaptations can be seen in the US, UK, Singapore, and Monaco. Let's Hang Out This weird statue is located in Prague, called Man Hanging Out. This statue is actually of Sigmund Freud. Czech sculptor David Cerny created this in 1996. He wanted to highlight intellectualism during the 20th century, which Cerny himself was uncertain about. Resting in the tub The biggest bath in the world is called the Bather or Derp Dendi in German. Artist Oliver Voss used foam and steel in forming the sculpture. It measures 13 feet high and about 99 feet long. It was displayed at the Inner Alste Lake in Hamburg for 10 days. Creativity takes courage. Artist David Cerny is famous for his controversial pieces of art around the globe. This one, called Metamorphosis, is simpler though. Located in North Carolina, it is composed of 40 silk pieces bound in 7 divisions and can rotate individually while spitting water out from its mouth into the lake. Recycled Material This artful seahorse sculpture was created by Jeff Uido. He made use of driftwood pieces that he collected. He swears no living trees were used in this creation. Hailing from Washington, Uito owns a business named Knock on Wood. Passing Through The Passer Through Walls is a famous statue in Paris. Its creator based it on a fictional character by novelist Marcel Amy. 
The character has the ability to walk through walls and this led him to live a life full of crime and adultery. In one of his adventures, his supernatural ability suddenly stopped and he got trapped inside the wall. Nothing is impossible. That's according to former South African President Nelson Mandela. South African artist Marco Cianfelli designed an astounding structure in his honor, particularly created to commemorate the 50-year anniversary of Mandela's arrest by apartheid police in 1962. It consists of 50 columns to represent each year. The figure can be found in Harwick where he was arrested. However, to see the work clearly, it has to be viewed from the right angle so that the face of Mandela is visible. Dance like no one's watching. These heavenly wire sculptures are created by artist Robin White from the UK. They depict fairies in various sizes dancing in the sky. They are formed dramatically in terms of poses and they all have dandelions with them. Books and art. Artists are very creative when it comes to the materials they use in creations. And this inspiring sculpture by Mike Stilke is no exception. He made use of old books that were going to be recycled to come up with these wonderful pieces with the aid of colored pencils, ink, liqueur, and paint. Which of these sculptures got your interest the most? Tell us down in the comments below. If you've been amazed by our story today, please like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you also click the bell icon so you never miss out on our future uploads. See you next time!